Welcome to How It Works, a video series from Law Sites in which you get to see hands-on demonstrations of legal tech products directly from the developer. Today's featured product is ContractPod AI, an award-winning contract lifecycle management company serving in-house legal teams at global Fortune 500 companies. ContractPod AI recently expanded beyond CLM with the launch of ContractPod AI Cloud, a no-code platform that allows teams to manage any legal scenario, process, or document. Here to tell us all about it today, I'm joined by Atena Rehani, Vice President of Product Management, and Jerry Levine, Chief Evangelist and General Counsel. Jerry, tell us a little bit more about Contract Pod AI. Absolutely, Bob. Thank you for having me on and uh, once again speaking with me. Uh, as you have mentioned, Contract Pod AI has been around for a bit of time now, and we are an award winning contract lifecycle management solution. And we have now expanded with Contract Pod AI Cloud. This really does build on the backbone of our CLM, and we're really excited to show it off to you today. Uh, one of the key things, we are global, we are working all over the world, as is almost every team we've dealt with following and during the pandemic. And we've recognized that one of the key blockers that legal departments have, legal teams have, is really being able to work within a platform that works for them. And so what we've done is we've created what we call one legal platform, I like to think of it as a legal operating system, and we're really excited about that. Well, it sounds really interesting. Can you show us how it works? I would love to. And for that, I will turn over to my colleague, Atena, to kick it up. We will start off with our existing known leadership in contract management. This is the core main operating page of Contract Pod AI Cloud. Atena is going to show you what we call legal applications and our contract management application is where we'll start. We'll come back to this in a little bit when we talk about other legal applications and showing off IP portfolio management. So Atena will click on contract management, which will bring you to the contract management dashboard. What you're seeing here is a full dashboard view into your contract life cycle your entire company's contract life cycle. We tell you what your most common types are, the status of your documents, active tasks, active records, what's in negotiation. But we're gonna go through today the, the core request and repository functionality, as well as cool features that I'd really like to show off. And Jerry, from, from full life cycle, you're talking about from pre-signing, post-signing all the way through? Absolutely. We are not a we are not just a post-signature or pre-signature solution. We're not just a buy side or a sell side solution. We have customers using us from the day a, a, a client potentially reaches out to them to the date of termination and renewal. So we handle the full run through of a contract's life. So Atena, if you could go to click on add request, what you're seeing here is the basic request portal from the legal user viewpoint. We do have integrations with anything out there. Salesforce is most, most commonly requested, Workday, any of these. For this, we're walking through as though we're a legal user, but you could give this to anybody in your organization. You select the type of documents you need. From here, we could do an amendment. We could upload, review third-party paper, or we could author a new contract. Uh, we're going to show authoring a new contract. And what Atena is doing right now is filling out the information that we would need to create a new contract. Now, what's really neat about this is this is all powered by our next generation automated contract desk or ACD. And as Atena fills this out, it's actually collecting information so that it can prepare the documents for you. Now, what's really neat and what we've gone beyond before was a lot of older templating systems required a lot of work. We've got to the point where a template can be created by someone with no training and no knowledge of the system in just a few seconds. And I'm not talking about the document you're seeing today. I'm talking about the actual underlying template. So what you're looking at right now, Bob and Get and other viewers 
is a NDA questionnaire. Now, internally, I will tell you the way I use this is, well, I don't even have any questions. When a salesperson creates something, it pulls all the information in from Salesforce, picks the right company, picks all the information and fills out the contract for you. As a legal user, we've given you a little more power. Uh, this is what you'd see as a legal user who might need to do a little more customization of the contract. So what Atena has done now is she's filled it out. She's gonna click generate version and we are going to draft that contract for you. Are these fully templated uh, contracts? I mean, are, are, are they fully customized contracts or are you providing pre-made pre contract templates as well? We could give you a pre-made contract template. I am working with some groups that are doing that, that are providing standard contracts. But Bob, you gotta remember, we are not a law firm. Right. So it would put us into a difficult situation to tell you this is a contract that you should use or to provide our own. Of course, we're gonna tell you to go and speak with your own lawyer or your in-house team to create your contracts. What we will do though, is if you hand them over, we will migrate them in, template them for you. But as I mentioned, I was able to template a brand new agreement in approximately five minutes yesterday. What Aten is showing you right now was all that information that she just put in is now already in the agreement. So her name, the company, all of that is already there. This could go right out to the customer. It could come back into someone in legal and go from there. What we could do now is you could share it via email. You could invite someone to collaborate. We could work through red lines. Whatever you need, all of that is there. Very similar to you know, what everybody wants to get out of their CLM. We're, we're here and we've made it easier than it ever was before. So Jerry, what does that intake form do besides just take some information in? That's a great question, Bob. We've really worked on making the UI and UX of Contract Pod AI Cloud super friendly, super easy to use, and much better than I think many of our competitors and even our own products used to look. That intake form that you asked about, that actually is one of the functions pulls in all that information and starts building out workflows and intelligent thought processes within the system to make sure things flow smoothly. So there's a lot of conditional logic that can be set up. And one thing to keep in mind about our whole user experience is we can be as simple or as complex as you wanna be. We have customers that have 600 workflows and we have customers that have one workflow. And it can really range on how they're using it. Regardless of the size of your company, regardless of the size of your organization, your legal department, we can tailor this and still have a functional system running underneath it. So with that, I'd like to stop, pop over to the second part of what we'd like to show off, which is what we like to call contract risk and compliance. At, of course, our AI pulls out and is intelligent enough to look at context and key information. And that's always been a core function of contract pod AI, knowing what's in there. What we do now is we take your playbook that we will work with you to build and work with you to generate, and we will begin risk scoring and analyzing your agreements as they come in. So what you're looking at here is a agreement that scored seven out of 40 on our internal risk score analysis. These aren't just random scores and someone saying, well, this looks kind of lousy. This is actually based off a lawyer created playbook with fallbacks that says, these are terms that I would accept. These are clauses I wouldn't accept. And our AI has been taught to recognize them, taught to recognize them in context and outside of context. It's not just a pattern matching. It's actually analyzing the document like a junior attorney would, or even a senior attorney that's reviewing a contract. So a tenant is going to click on review contract terms. This loads a page with decisions you can make as an attorney, a paralegal, an allied professional, a salesperson, a finance person that have been pre-vetted by lawyer, by your lawyers generally. Based on your playbook, based on the playbook that you developed or is this? Exactly, based, based on the playbook that you developed. We don't give you a playbook. We will work with you to make one from your documents. We will work with you to implement yours, but it's the contract pods, contract risk and compliance function has analyzed this document and said, hey, 
this clause doesn't match what you say is okay. And again, this isn't just looking for words in there. It's looking for, for actual functionality. It's looking for actual context. So it doesn't just say, oh, you like the word client and this one says customer. It's looking for the actual intent of this phrase of this section of the document. And we'll tell you, this is compliant text. You can then do various things. We've programmed in fallbacks based on your playbook. We've programmed in the ability to just delete it outright. We programmed in the ability to accept the risk. And once you go through, as you can see, some of these are green already, which means that the system is analyzed and says, this already matches. We are really good with this. Once we've gone through that, once you've checked it all off, it can either kick off more workflows we can kick off a collaboration, we can send to the other party. All of those things can be done. And again, that collaboration can be internal or external. So now we've actioned on the changes we made and in the background, the advanced AI of Contract Pod AI Cloud is running. It's pulling out the terms, reanalyzing it and has come up now, just a few changes has brought our score up to 14 out of 40. We're, we're getting there. We're probably not done our review but we're probably in a little better place according to our playbook and what we're looking for in this process. From here, again, you this is third-party paper. We're looking at someone else's document. So we can go back, we can kick off, we can kick off review panels, we can kick off workflows, we can pull up the key data. You can see now some of these have changed from red to green. Some are still red because we haven't finished reviewing the document. We also have a few other tools in here that. We probably would love to show them, but I know we probably don't have time. We actually have a cognitive translation system that will take a document, translate it into up to 70 languages with about 95 to 99% accuracy. What I would like to show next is our pre-built legal applications, which is another cool thing that we built in the contract pod AI cloud. Uh, we, we allow you to create your own legal applications as well as providing you with some pre-built applications for various purposes. As you can see here, we have two options. You can do either one. In this case, we've pre-configured some, and the one we're going to show off today is IP portfolio management. One big thing that I ran into as a GC at another company was not really having anywhere to manage but an Excel spreadsheet for IP and hoping my outside counsel would keep an eye on me. So here we've configured this based on the general requests that other lawyers have put in. We've done panels, we've interviewed folks, and we're trying to build, build things that any company can use right out of the box. Are these pre-configured applications customizable at all or are they uh, or not? Great question. Everything is pretty much customizable. But like I said, Bob, it can be as easy or as hard as you want it to be. Well, not as hard as complex. Complexity always breeds uh, more difficulty. Right. So these are all pre-configured, but if you wanted to make one that was much more advanced, had significant additional parts, more workflows, you could. Anything is possible in Contract Pod AI Cloud. So what Atten is going through now is the creation of a pre-configured IP module. We go through patents, we go through trademarks, we go through copyright. All of these can be added, edited, changed. And then as we go through it, we'll continue walking through the process. You'll see your workflows that, again, pre-configured workflows that can work on patents, trademarks, and copyrights. And we can keep going. You'll get to the last stage, which is if you're ready to launch, we'll get the metadata. This is what's being pulled out. Again, our AI is running on all this. So if you start uploading copies of your trademark certificates or your patent information, we'll pull that information out and make it searchable, make it analyzable, and we'll make it something that you can use. So if we click on ready to launch, we'll get there. You'll see that we're all set. And once we launch, you'll be in an IP app application. Fantastic. So now if a tenant goes to IP portfolio management, you will see that Everything looks very similar to our contract interface, but what, we, what you're seeing is a little different. We can customize this again. We've got 17 patents in our system right now. We've got eight documents that are in review, eight patents that are in review. 
We've got different things you can do. Buttons are customizable, functions are customizable. And if we were to go look in our repository, you'd be able to see that some of these patents have already been analyzed, reviewed, and are available for you to search within. So those are three really cool things within our platform. I could have gone on and talked for another hour, Bob, and you know that having spoken to me before, but you tell me, what can I answer? What questions do you have? Well, I, I know that there's also the ability to create custom applications besides the pre-configured ones that you just talked about. Uh, can you give me an example of, of when a company might want to create a custom one? Sure, absolutely, Bob. Uh, we've been getting a lot of requests lately for corporate governance management, which is something that uh, can really depend on the size of your company. So while we're working and creating a pre-configured corporate governance application, that would could go right in. You could conceivably right now for law sites, go in and launch your own legal application for corporate governance. You'd say, what do I want to track? Uh, you know, your formation certificates, your due dates, all of that would be very easy to do. Other things we've gotten are claims management. I think I Matt mentioned a little earlier. We have some companies that want to track their litigation. All of this is possible. All of these buttons can be configured. All of these functions can be configured. And as you give us information and as we work with you as a customer, we can actually make everything work with the AI. You know, we are not just telling you, you have to use what we've given you. We will teach the AI in conjunction with you as the customer to recognize what's important to, to you as the customer, not just what maybe uh, what we've thought is import, important, which I think is a real differentiator for us. We really want this to be your system, your, your legal operating system, your platform, your one platform for legal. Uh, if I could just ask a question back on that risk and compliance, uh, you know, you talked about using the company's playbook. Uh, you were a former general counsel. Um, most large companies are probably going to have a playbook like that, but what if they don't? So absolutely. That's a great question. And Bob, I'd like to point out that I am still a general counsel. I just now have added chief evangelist a different to my company. Name. A different company. Uh, we did have a playbook there, and what we're doing is we will partner with law firms and organizations, uh, alternative legal service providers, to provide recommendations on playbook creation. Uh, in the next, hopefully the next few weeks, we'll, we'll be announcing some additional partnerships with law firms and ALSPs uh, to offer additional services alongside the product. As I mentioned before, we are not a law firm, and while I can help you and give you some suggestions on what you might want in a playbook, we really do say you need to talk to your internal organization, talk to your external counsel, or work with, work with, other, work with other groups to create one that works best for your company, for your team, and for the people using the software. All right, is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up here today? Uh, absolutely, you know, if you're interested, if you've enjoyed this presentation, if you have questions, please feel free to re reach out to us at connect at contractpodai.com. You can follow us on our social channels on LinkedIn, uh, the company ContractPod, Twitter at, at ContractPodAI. If you want to talk to me personally, you can find me on Twitter at, on, at on Jerry underscore Levine or just search on LinkedIn for Jerry Levine. I'm the one that looks like me. Uh, but again, we're really excited about ContractPodAI Cloud. As you can probably tell, I'm really excited about it. And thank you so much for having Atena and me on the show today, Bob. Really interesting stuff. Uh, Jerry Levine, Atena, Rehani, thanks so much for doing this. That does it for today's episode of How It Works. Thanks for watching.